Uh, we have a very special person today with us, Seema Sachde, a personality with empowering combination of qualities. Uh, besides being a famous fashion designer and a reality show star, she's also an entrepreneur who's set to uh, launch her own label, Y. Awesome, that's pretty cool. Yeah, streetwear. I, yeah, that's streetwear. Okay, it's called Y. Why is it called Y? You have a logic to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay. It's a it's a lengthy explanation. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll come back to that. Yeah, we're here for the doggies. <laughs> so, Seema has carved a niche for herself in the entertainment industry as well as her appearance in the famous Netflix series called Fabulous Lives of Bollywood Wives. Uh, thank you so much, Seema, for being here with us Thanks. today and taking a part of, in this initiative with us. I love it. Um, Seema's love for animals has always been evident uh, as she continues to create awareness on pet welfare and wellness. We are extremely delighted to have her on board with us today on this journey that Jules has and we admire her for her dedication to the cause. Let's have a round of applause for her. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, Jules Asima is basically collaborating with you as yeah. you're aware of it and uh, we'll be donating about three months worth oh. of pet food to work for all animal care uh, center. They are working towards, uh, you know, uh, uh, the adoption, fostering, rescue, uh, medical treatment, rehabilitation of street animals and your inception was in 2009. Right, yeah, yeah. It's, been, wow. it's been a long, long road. It's been a long road, it's been a long journey, so yeah. hats off to you for you know the consistency i should say thank you because we all try but we yeah. all give up at some point yeah. because it's not easy it's not all. easy to do this but it's that's one easy. thing you learn from the animals you know they're so you have uh, <laughs> us with little little problems and then they have like here you know, we get animals without a hand without a leg yeah. and they don't give up and that's where we can be inspired from and learn absolutely you know, i think animals so inspire us in so many ways so many ways, ways right? really they so, teach us they've got so much to teach us really so, uh, you're running this awareness uh, and education program specifically for the care and safety of stray animals. True. And your mission is to inspire coexistence between stray animals and the people of Bombay. Is that correct? Absolutely. Right. And your whole process is by finding love, homes for the helpless ones. That's absolutely sweet and adorable and creating compassion basically, tolerance and humanity for those who are on the streets. So, let's have a huge round of applause for them as well. Uh, I'm clearly sandwiched between two very influential uh, people and one in front of me is holding, wearing a t-shirt which says influence, so a <laughs> lot of influence around me. So we hope, sir, that our contribution of three months worth of pet food together with Seema will contribute to your efforts to make the world happy and a healthier place for the voiceless people. Absolutely, food is a is a yeah, it's a, is must. a must. It's a good mean and healthy, lovely food like this. Nutrition for them exactly. is... They need it. And what I really love is that y'all you you have come by, taken the effort to come by, meet them, spend time with them and bond with them. It makes all the difference. Look at how happy and excited all the dogs yeah, are. Oh, you know? so sweet. It's a day out for them and a day out for us. So Seema, thank you so much. Thank you. I just want to say that I, yes, I am a animal lover. I'm a dog lover. I have grown up with dogs. I don't think, I don't remember a time in my life when I've not had dogs, I've not had puppies. and. I have to say that if you're blessed to have a puppy, a, a dog, a pet, they teach you unconditional love. You can actually, the, the meaning of love, you can only actually understand from a pet. That loyalty, that love that you get when you come home, it nothing compares to it. Like really nothing can compare to it. And I think for every child today, most importantly, uh, what, a, what a pet teaches you is empathy. And I think empathy is the need of the hour today in today's world that we live in. And I think that the empathy that we learn from a pet, you, you can't compare, compare that to being taught anywhere else. So today I'm here with Jules. I'm completely I aligned with the brand. They have been tirelessly working towards uh, the welfare of animals through all their different initiatives. And today's campaign is all about donating three months of food nutrition and health for these lovely animals, voiceless, homeless strays. And I just, I would like all animals out, animal lovers out there to come and join us in this endeavor and make this world a better place for these voiceless, really lovable beings. Absolutely. Thank you Thank so you. much. You know, it's, um, I think we all, we all do love animals clearly. Yeah. We all do a bit, but um, sometimes I think the objective of being here and talking to all you people is so that we kind of like uh, maybe give you 
a push to do your bit she's doing her bit just a reminder it's, it's like just a, a reminder. yeah it's just a reminder i know everyone gets caught up in life and you know life gets in the way but really honestly i think this is something that's it's just amazing just look at them yeah i mean i i i have nothing to say there's so much they have to they can express also and they feel also and i think unless you're not on that you know you don't understand when you have a pet you understand so much more about even about life they teach you like simple things love and empathy being at the top most absolutely well said seema thank you so much thank you so uh, should we go ahead and is there a like oh, oh, well, we can do a feeding activity sorry we can do a feeding activity yeah. really yeah. yeah. sure. yeah. 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 i i think so i have another one it's really easy to say okay come can we get a food we will use a your gravy only because you know it's too hot so yeah it's it's easier for them to get a green food so all the animals here come is under treatment they all come in jod they all come uh, with grave accidents uh, we have two programs running out of here one is a sterilization program so there are some healthy dogs that get uh, spayed neutered and then released release as treaties only or you adopt, as get them adopted see if they come we always try to find a feeder if yeah. they get completely all right you know if they're back on their toes then we try to release them in the area or find people to feed them take care of right. them there but if they're handicapped and things of course we either keep them in a permanent shelter which is called the probably paradise in kajar or we try to find homes for them but right. not everyone is as fortunate right. you know Well, I think the the effort is to make sure that yeah. you do your best, and all that we can do is do your best, and you're really, really. But they look best. really happy. Only thanks yeah. to the kind support. Yeah. They really do look very happy. It is home for them. Yeah. That's the thing. It's always nice. So I've been to a lot of places where they're all caged and things, but you know, this is this little place where they can at least have their freedom, yeah. live out their personalities. and they do really come with very distinct personalities every but i have yeah. to one i just i like i said i just lost one but they have such distinct personality i feel they they imbibe some of yours along the way you know that's right they do they yeah. kind of imbibe a lot of your own personality so you know i mean i've never really understood till i lost i mean i've had dogs my whole life but this one was special so i get i'm feeling When a bit more your, uh, 10 days ago No way. And 16 year old means Sorry. you've lived a lifetime with her. I wouldn't have I was traveling. I wouldn't have, I didn't want to let her go but quite frankly it was I I mean it was the right thing to do because she was in so much pain. And you, they yeah. can't they can you know when when an animal animals can't communicate and talk to you but you can see it in their eyes. Yes. <coughs> 16 years. 16 years. She seen she's a toy she's a toy poodle. Mm-hmm. Toy poodle. so cute anyway you feel just like such fragile ones you know the body of that animals always uh, replicate the they do she had to them they'll be loving yeah, to yeah, you yeah. you know she has totally she's like, like i'm telling you she understood everything she was a diva she got she had so much of my personality she would give it back to me only <laughs> Yeah. Should she be sitting here or uh, you? No, we'll just put it. I'll ask. We'll uh, put one. Let her put the bowl down. Yeah, down. yeah. give me now. As long as they don't like the bowl. Just so one. But they are very playful. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. You will get your share. Give her, give her one more. You just put it down. Put it down. So. Yeah. Oh, they are just. We I'll do. Not fifty zero. No, seventy. Yeah, that's it. Also, they fight with each other for it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. That is animal instinct. So yeah. Yeah, animal and they have been scavenging for long. Yeah, yeah. so that that comes. That's how they form yeah. their DNA. Yeah. Yeah. When we feed all hundred of them, it's a real activity. You have like hundred of them. There yeah. are hundred dogs here. Wow. They're just placed out well, and it's afternoon, so they're all. As you can see, sleeping in the corners. But this is feed time. Normally, we have feed time. No, no. This is a yeah. special treat. It's a special It's day for them treat. as well. That's good. They deserve it. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna get. Oh, baby. Wait, Mama. Did you put? Yeah. Can you just put the board here? Because open it, there are mics. Come, Alga. No, no, Alga. Not all. We do not need that. No, but this one is good. Okay. One more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
guarding me. Can he give him also one? Yeah, you want to give. I have only obeyed because these two okay, you give it to me in my hand and then I'll see them. Yeah, you yeah. give it to me in my hand. Can you take a picture? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Are you sure I can cross him? Because he's quite uh, this thing about you. What happened? You're not hungry? You're not hungry? That one's actually a therapy dog. Do you believe he's, uh, she's 16 too? She's 16. No, no, 6. 6? Oh, she's 6. six. Sorry, sorry. 16 is a good full life. That's line. a good full But actually, poodles can live, I was told, up to 9 years. Yeah, the smaller breeds live uh, long. Not long. Oh, yeah, they do, but not that. It's usually, usually 12. Yeah, but you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See your nutrition throughout, yeah. exercise yeah. regime, oh, hygiene, yeah. your anatomy, genetics. There's just so much. I think also exactly. your environment is there, like, you know, comfortable. And I feel like some of them die. Farmhouse dogs are cleanest and, you know, they also die. Yeah. A lot of them are No okay, okay, enough. जितना अच्छा इनिशिएटिव आपने लिया है बहुत से लोग नहीं जानते हैं ऐसे कुछ भी डॉग्स की हालत होते हैं क्या कहना चाहोगे आज के दिन के आ कैन आई स्पीक इन इंग्लिश हिंदी इंग्लिश नहीं करूं ये आई 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 लाइक टू से दैट आई एम कंप्लीटली ओवरवेल्म नॉट ओ आई मीन आई आई एम कंप्लीटली लाइक इन ऑल ऑफ व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन हियर एज इन दिस दिस शेल्टर वर्ल्ड फॉर ऑल इट्स समथिंग इट्स सच अ गुड डीड दे से डू गुड डीड्स बट इट्स सच अ सेल्फलेस thing to do for these animals because you know animals are such gentle actually they're voiceless they can't speak for themselves but and to see them in this condition it breaks my heart honestly and it's i'm feeling it's it's a privilege to be here to be a part of this to actually contribute and to be aligned with drools which i think is doing such an amazing job i mean i'm blown away do you I do. I've always had pets. I've grown up with dogs, two of them. Now uh, my mother has three. I have two. I just lost one ten days ago. So this is a a little bit more emotional for me than it would be. But because I know what they, you know, like what they go through. I feel pets can, like I said, they they teach you empathy. Like for a child growing up with a pet, it teaches you empathy that no school and no nobody else can teach you. The way a pet can teach you their loyalty, their love. It's un. They teach you the meaning of love. It's unconditional love, and it's so weird. Like I'm asthmatic, so as you can see, I can't really, you know, their, their saliva kind of gives me hives. But I have uh, my dogs. They actually understand when I talk to them. I think they understand everything. They know when you're down. They know when you're happy. They they when you're not well. They also take on your stress. You know, they get sick. When they get sick, they say they take on their owner's stress. I, I completely like. I'm, uh, I'm an animal lover. I'm a dog lover. Um, I'm waiting to get another one. To be honest, I, I'm really, honestly, right now feeling very emotional about all the halat of these dogs. It's very sad. It's very sad, and I'm glad that, you know, this is a small contribution towards millions of strays and homeless. But you know, I think if everyone puts their foot forward and makes a small contribution, it's a drop in the ocean. But Still, it's towards the well-being of these voiceless 
animals really they deserve it also india got an oscar for these two things one is for rrr second is for the discrimination what you would like to say on that i think way to go indians are like we are anyway on the map but i think it's amazing and i think it's uh completely well deserved so are we going to see many more surprises from your side any more projects uh more projects i'm i'm currently doing i'm working on my own brand and i'm also uh doing fabulous lives of bollywood wives so you'll have to stay tuned for that one the last thing you need to all the animal lovers uh i just like to say that you know what what we are doing and what drools is doing here today and i'm uh you know i completely align with them and i'm it's a privilege to be a part of this campaign and i think for all animal lovers out there if everyone does like even a little tiny bit you know to help these animals we are providing nutrition in any form or any which way anyone to help these animals in any small way i think it it can it will contribute it, they say na that every drop makes an ocean so the more people that come out to support yeah it will help and they deserve it they really do thank you thank you thank you yeah so i'm also going to plug in this just like streetwear these days is very fashionable being compassionate towards our street animals is also very trendy thank you thank you